microorganisms present on our body and that microorganisms are called normal flora when a baby is inside the mother uterus that baby is completely free from microorganism but when that baby passes through the vaginal canal of mother from the vagina of that mother some of the bacteria get settled on the different parts of the body when that baby comes out and take a first breath some of the microorganism from this environment go and settle on the upper respiratory tract similarly when the baby suck the milk of mother from that breast nipple some of the microorganism go and settle in the gastrointestinal tract similarly when that baby is kept on different surfaces from that surfaces also some of the microorganism go and settle on the body of baby okay that microorganism as the age of the uh, child grows that microorganisms number their composition may differ from time to time but the different microorganism settles on our body throughout the life that group of microorganism that settles on our body but they do not harm our body but they protects our body in different way they that group of microorganisms are called normal flora the number of microorganisms that are present on our body that is approximately 10 to the power 40 this is very huge number of microorganism if we uh, from one drop of saliva if we test the number of organism it is coming uh, more than uh, lakhs lakhs of bacteria from one drop of saliva we can obtain in this way we can imagine that there are huge number of bacteria in this way we can say that there are huge then how the microorganisms help our body when the word microorganisms comes we think that microorganisms bacteria viruses a protozoa they are harmful to us but this normal flora that group of microorganism they settles on our body from our birth mostly most of them are bacteria they do not harm our body but they protect our body in different way help in our body in different way let us see they prevent the colonization of harmful pathogens some of the bacteria they colonize in different body parts skin our mouth in nose or in digestive tract they are already present they do not let other harmful bacteria to grow in our that place they prevent the colonization of harmful pathogens pathogens means disease causing microorganism when they come to colonize multiply and establish at some place in our body already present normal flora do not allow the harmful pathogen to grow over there similarly normal flora produces vitamins for our body the normal flora like escherichia coli they are present in our digestive tract they produce vitamin k for their replication for their multiplication but that vitamin excess vitamin produced by them are absorbed by our body okay they normal flora the normal flora also produces the cross reactive antibodies normal flora always makes our uh, immune system a lot our immune system that fights against the disease they always become activated by the help of normal flora this bacteria present in our body they uh, induce our body to produce some antibodies and that antibodies that fighter we can say soldiers of our body fight when any harmful microorganisms comes in our body similarly this normal flora uh, that are present in the vagina of a female lot of normal flora are present in the vagina of female for example lactobacillus that is a bacteria that is present in the vagina they produce lactic acid there in the vagina and due to the production of this acid in the vagina the pH of the uh, vaginal environment become less and in that acidic pH other harmful bacteria do not grow so, so this lactic acid production in the vagina area protects that female from the different urinary tract infection similarly <coughs> let us know some other thing 
uh, there are some sterile zone in our body that like blood blood is completely free from microorganism cerebrospinal fluid brain or any other internal organ heart lungs uh, they are free from microorganism but uh, our skin lot of microorganism especially in the armpits where there is more moisture between the toes there is more moisture there are also lot of microorganism between our thigh there is some moisture there is also lot of microorganism in our nose Staphylococcus aureus, most common bacteria of our nasal cavity, they are present as a normal flora. Similarly, in uh, upper respiratory tract, okay, in our upper respiratory tract, there are presence of normal flora like Staphylococcus pneumonia, uh, they, are, they are present. Similarly, in the gastrointestinal tract, lot of bacteria of interbacteria C family, they are found in the digestive tract. Similarly, in the urinogenital tract, in the vaginal area uh, or in reproductive uh, outer part of the reproductive organ, uh, there are also a lot of normal flora found in the human body. I hope this video is very useful to us. Uh, you got a knowledge regarding the different types of microorganism, how that microorganism is helping our body. Apart from this, some normal flora act as a opportunistic pathogens. For example, uh, the normal flora that is living in our upper respiratory tract, streptococcus pneumoniae, when our immune system becomes very weak, they go towards the lungs and cause pneumonia to us. Similarly, our different other normal flora also, when our immune system becomes weak, they may cause infection in our body. But when our immune system is alert, that's uh, most of the normal flora are friendly with us, but some when we suffer from some disease some of the normal flora they may cause disease in our body they are called opportunistic pathogens i hope this video is very useful to you uh, best of luck